so this is my favorite snake in my collection. Produced by Rory Gresco. Sold to me as a male, but I actually believe it to be a female. This is Fogo, which in Portuguese means fire. As you guys know, I, I'm fluent in Portuguese, so I really, really love this animal. Everything about her is just awesome. She's in my logo. She's on the cover of Corrales Radio Calendar. I've posted tons and tons of pictures of her, and she's actually going a little opaque right now, but she is just awesome. And not too bad. So this is Fogo. You guys just saw a tub shot of her, but she's got really, really cool, and now she's wrapping around the tripod, awesome. But she's got really, really cool pattern. She's actually got pink spots. Can you not get, thank you. I'm so glad you're doing that. She will probably take a nip at me before too long, but really, really pretty animal. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys some calicos and some reds. And I figured I'd start it off with my favorite, which is this girl. Hey, nope. No biting. No biting. Really, really pretty animal. All right, I'm gonna put her back. Now what I'm about to show you is three of my holdbacks that I'm raising up. Um, one of them is um, actually a baby that I produced uh, this year. The other two are patternless oranges. Um, they could go red actually. I'm not quite sure what they're gonna do, but they're kind of on that cusp of orange red. But we're going to show you guys those animals. I'm going to keep them in their tubs because it'll be a lot easier for you guys to see them. All right, please excuse the dirty tubs, these guys. Actually, this one on the left just shed. Let's see if I can focus. You going to focus here? Captive born and bred this one uh, from Rory Gresco. And this one, and that one, act, this one is actually a female, and this one is a male, and he is um, an import. I got him as a fresh baby um, from Fascination Herp. I highly recommend them. If you're going to buy an import or a farmed animal, oh, you see my hand over here? <laughs> if you're going to buy something from, you know, the wild I would say probably go with them over anybody else I've bought from them a few times and they've always been really really good to me so anyway those are the patternless oranges this is the red that I produced this year it has shed a few times got a little bit of pattern coming in this animal was from a garden that was from a calico litter and the sire was could be a, a low expression calico but I do not think this animal is a calico time will tell but I don't think it is um, either way it's like gonna be an absolute stunner I'm blown away by the color and that animal is totally brick red so I don't really care if it's a calico or not you guys know I'm not big on morphs but that's that's as good as it gets okay on to some adults and he just shed as well and this is the dad to that little red baby that you just saw 
you can see why I thought or he may still be um, a low expression calico but excuse the shed guys he just shed out you just will not stay still there we go So this is Cal. I named him Cal because I thought he was a calico, but he's an awesome, awesome animal. Proven male. Um, kind of a soft spot for this guy. He actually had a piece of cork bark that got lodged about three inches down his throat. And I was freaking out because I didn't really know what to do and I was able to actually pull it out um, and with some forceps and uh, otherwise I think I may have lost him. Uh, this was over a year ago and he's just solid inside and out. Got a really pretty belly but got this, the white scales on the side. Just an all around beautiful animal and you know he's not really trying to strike at me or have a go at me at all. He's just checking things out. All you guys that say you can't free handle Amazons, well, you need to check your facts and get a little more experience because you totally can. Now, I wouldn't call him a corn snake or a ball python and drape them around my 10-year-old's neck. I don't think they're that kind of a species, but this animal hasn't tried to bite me once. Nor did the other one. It's all about body language, knowing the animal, and making sure they don't feel threatened. There are exceptions to that. In fact, I think the one I'm gonna pull out next will probably try to have a go at me. And there's also a male that I have that is not a Hannibal snake, but those two really are the only ones I have to watch out for. Okay, on to the next. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm not even using a hook. Hey, real quick like, she's a ball python. Actually, this was not the one I was referring to as being really aggressive. This one's not too bad. Pretty girl. Oh, you know, I'm realizing the trampoline wasn't the best idea. <laughs> she's actually really, really cool. She's almost an orange color, but she was produced by Abby Melavestino. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Look at the side on her. Come on. I'd really like it if your head was turned around the other direction. Here we go. That's better. Much, much better. 
But hey, see that tongue flicking? She's just checking things out. This girl will be ready to go this next season. So I'm really excited to, uh, to get her paired up. And you guys just saw her coiled up in the tub. Um, these guys are in small. I've got these guys in CB70s right now. I'm not keeping them in that. I've got a new snake building that's gonna be built here on the side of the house. All the animals are getting larger display cages when that happens. So the CB70 racks are really just holding tubs for the animals that are kind of the in-betweeners. But man, look at those eyes. Just absolutely beautiful. There's a reason why these guys are my favorite. Just love them. Just love them. Oh man, she is so sick. She knows I'm here, but she's not threatened at all. Anyway, all right, on to the next one. And the next one actually is the one that I was thinking might try to bite me. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. This guy's a jerk. Um, no, I'm good, Elise, on the ice cream. Oh, the snake. Yeah. I don't think ice cream will make him sweeten up. This guy is really cool. I want to prove him out. He's an import, but he is an absolute demon. <laughs> he hates me. And he's the only animal that I'll probably use a hook with. But who knows? He may surprise me. But judging how he is right now, I'd say he will not. All right, let's do this. I've got my trusty hook here. He's already struck at me like five times. So I have a feeling a hunch that he is going to want to bite me. Like I said, there are exceptions. All, like all of my animals, except for him and one other one, I can pretty much free handle whenever I want. This guy, not so much. He tries to get me every time. But he just shed out. Most of them just shed. Um, I have one other female that's red that's got some really cool peppering, like very faint peppering. I really wanted to bring her out, but she's completely opaque and it wouldn't do her justice. So I figured I just wouldn't show her. But aside from her, I really wanted to get this guy out because he just shed and he's just an awesome, awesome animal. He bred a female quite a bit. Um, he came in from Charles uh, Kutras, good buddy of mine. And he had been breeding a female for Charles um, he bred her a couple times for me, but uh, nothing came of it. Um, I, like I said, I got her on the late end of the breeding season, so I think pretty much everything was already done. You're really focused on me. Why don't you focus on the camera there, buddy? There we go. You're not too bad. You're not trying to kill me yet. If 
famous words are yet. This animal is so pretty. I mean, he's got some gray on him, but just doesn't do his justice. He's just got so many different, like, it's almost pixelated um, how much, what the colors are on his scales. I mean, he's got like five or six different shades of, of red. He's got this brick red eyes. Just a really, really pretty animal. dude no you you're, you're you're checking me out you want to see what's going on yeah focus over here kind of a cool shot <laughs> Anyway, so those are the reds and the calicos and everything in between. I've got a couple other ones that I'm, I've got tucked around, um, but they're opaque and uh, figured I'd probably not do them any justice by showing them to you. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. You pretty much stared up my chest the whole time but I really wanted to show the animals more so than me being in frame and again I'm doing this myself so hopefully you guys uh, hopefully you enjoyed it leave a comment below I really want to get back into reading my comments I used to quite a bit uh, leave a comment below let me know if there's something you'd like to see uh, I've got a few things on the horizon I am heading out of town to Forrest Fanning's place and we're gonna meet up with Brian Barczyk and a couple other folks um, and we're gonna do some stuff at the uh, Toledo Zoo. So that'll be a lot of fun. And um, I've got a good friend of mine that I've been meaning to meet up with for quite some time, who has a really, really nice collection of uh, Morelia bread lie. And you guys know that I love Brettles pythons. So I'd really like to get over there and film a little bit of his uh, bread lie collection, which is not something I've done on the channel before, but I have kept them. Uh, a few different times and uh, I really really enjoy them as a species so I'm uh, I'm gearing up and I need to coordinate with him on coming over he's a local friend of mine and uh, getting some good footage of his uh, bread line so that's something I've got going on and um, got the Sacramento show coming up here in a month or two which will be that's always a fun show I try and catch up with some folks if I can um, lots of different stuff there, a lot of diversity as far as species go. I mean, obviously you have the main stuff, but um, anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, you've been watching Godbold Exotics. You guys take care, all right?